actually the basis upon which uh, the importation of uh, GMOs was banned in this country. Uh, it was very clear uh, that uh, uh, everybody who read that information will be concerned. Okay. And we were also very much concerned if it's true that uh, that's the case. But now, over a very long time, these experiments <laughs> were repeated in many laboratories across the globe to be able to be sure whether they can reproduce and confirm those results. And it was very clear that uh, the research was not well thought, it was not clear, it was discredited, the paper was uh, retracted, and in fact, the scientists apologized. And therefore, for that matter, there is nothing and no evidence as up to now that uh, GMO causes cancer. Okay, and as you mentioned that then, how about the critics, for example, the likes of Honorable Kipriot Arab Kiro, who argue that uh, it might not, it isn't fit for human consumption. You talked about this addressing climate change, for example, because of the consequences we are facing across the world. And uh, in regards to also food security addressing, which is a very, very standing, uh, standing out problem when you look at the current situation in the country. Beyond that then, are there consequences on the human life that you can point out beyond the positives that you've talked about of the genetically modified organisms? Yeah, there are consequences that uh, people have raised. For example, um, there's a possibility that uh, the genetic material that has been introduced could also cause allergy or allergens. But this has actually been, uh, 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 been worked on with scientists to ensure that uh, the regulations that are actually available uh, you, uh, genetic materials are actually produced that are not uh, with allergens. And then the second thing that has also been um, uh, raised is the question of whether uh, these particular materials can actually be escaped <clears throat> and go into the environment. And research has been done to demonstrate that there's a possibility, in fact, for this to be able to, to happen. But the question of compatibility is key. Because if you plant um, a maize crop that is genetically modified, you don't expect uh, the genetics or the, uh, the, the material there to be transferred to a weed where, in which they are genetically incompatible. It's not possible. So those concerns are there, but science has actually